And we are live on our aromatics.com website as well as our aromatics uh, Facebook page. So if you are here on our Facebook page, hello and thank you for being here. And if you're on our website, hello and thank you for being here. <laughs> we have some exciting things to share all about our Arnica. We're going to talk a little bit about the uh, lavender and we're also going to talk a little bit about our landing pages that we have that you can follow along with so many things yes it's it's harvest season here at aromatics and we are so excited to take you behind the scenes and to show you how we do different crops um, here in montana and how we wildcraft work with lavender and at the end of this um, live event we are going to be giving away an arnica infused oil to a lucky viewer on Facebook and our aromatics.com page. We'll also, in just a few minutes, be making a blend with you with Arnica. Yes, it's so good for pain and inflammation management. Um, one of our favorite carrier oils for that. Yes, one of my favorite things is to learn about the actual plant itself that creates the beautiful products that we use. Many of us use Arnica infused oil and we've never seen an arnica flower and it's not our fault because sometimes we live in areas where it doesn't grow exactly um we've got a whole bunch of folks who we have um mina who's here saying hi jenny and karen this is so exciting hi mina um we have debbie's who is here over on our uh, website um we have um trish from south carolina We've got, let's see what's happening over here on Facebook. We have Annie from Ontario, Canada. Hello. And Jan is saying hello, hello. And Kathy is saying looking forward to this webinar. Thank you so much for being here. And again, if you're just joining us, I'm Jenny and this is Karen. And folks are watching from Facebook as well as our landing page on aromatics.com. Yes. Is so it is. It is aromatic slash live. You can always join us aromatic slash live and never miss a live event. Um, we've done two live events in this harvest season series, and you can actually see the recordings there if you go to aromatics slash live dot com. Dot com. Aromatics dot com slash live slash live. <laughs> <laughs> it's been uh, it's it's a brand new uh, page, so we'll get it eventually. All right, we've got Lauren here from Cape Cod, Massachusetts, and Miranda from from Michigan, and over here we have two different uh, two different comment boxes going. We have, um, we've got all kinds of folks as well, although we have guest 440 saying, hi, it's Julie from Green Bay. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> all right, so we are going to dive in with you. And um, if you haven't been to our harvest season section on our website, if you go to aromatics.com, um, you can click more on our main page, learn more. And, oh, here's Jamie, here's Olivia, here's Annie. You can go and um, watch a video all about our harvest season. You can see when we are going to go live next and you can watch recorded videos. And this is our harvest season page where you can actually go into different things that we either wildcraft or cultivate or specialty crops that we're working with farmers around the world um, in a special, unique way. And you can, um, you can click on content and unlock content as we go. So we are actually, um, Arnica is unlocked and you can check out blogs and recipes. And later today, coming soon, we're about to unlock Lavender. We'll have, we have a blog ready for you. We've got recipes, a video. It's gonna be really, really awesome. So you can uh, drill down here into our Arnica page. You can see Annie and Olivia doing some wild crafting. This is right outside of Karen's house. And kind of importantly too, if they, if they don't want to see when an event's unlocked, just scroll down a little bit. You can sign up for a newsletter. You can absolutely sign up for our newsletter and you will be the first to know when an event is unlocked, which is really exciting. All right, so um, we've got a video to show you, kind of describing the process of lavender. And I think we've got it queued up, ready to go. Every year. 
harvesting these are at the bottom. There's my dad, there's Larry. Sometimes it grows down by the by the riverbanks, and sometimes it's just in the upper forested lands. There's bucks, that's my dog. So everybody gets involved in the distillation in the infusions of arnica. So after these blossoms have been wild crafted, we take them and put them into these containers and then we fill them up with an organic olive oil and then we let them infuse in the sunlight during the day for weeks. In Montana we can infuse it in the sunlight because we don't have a real hot summer. So for the few for, for the few, first few hours of the morning we can let the sunlight golden rays into our infusion. And we take some of this um, arnica oil and that's how we create and craft our trauma oil as well. Right, so arnica by itself is amazing. Arnica as part of a trauma oil is amazing. Mm -hmm. So we infuse the fresh flowers, which is quite a process because you have to make sure that every single petal is down, submerged in, into the olive oil of times a day it has to be stirred any moisture that collects around the rim or on the lid has to be wiped off it's a very labor intensive process mm -hmm. it is a process that really helps you to get in tune with the actual plant itself and we've got um, so many acres that we very intentionally wild crop from different parts of the forest every year just to really promote that sustainability of the arnica blossoms a few years ago, a wildfire ravished the forest down below, and it's amazing how the arnica flowers have just grown in and filled every single area, making it beautiful mm -hmm. and showing the tenacity uh, and the how much it works yeah. in harsh conditions. It was just really emotionally soothing for us to see all of the, that landscape that had been burned just blanketed with this yellow, gorgeous arnica. It was just, it was just a very, um, just a sign of rejuvenation that, the, that nature does naturally. And isn't, there, isn't there a blog about that? There's a blog about that. Let's go check it out. So um, if you go to that particular page that I was showing you earlier, let's, let's hop back. <laughs> so this is um, this is talking all about our arnica, the process, uses and benefits, and you can look at different recipes that we're we're about to make a recipe with you right now. Um, we've got four different recipes. You can explore even more recipes, and um, you can just again learn everything about arnica oil and how to um, use it in your own aromatherapy practice. There's a few different types of arnica that grows in our forest. This particular one is arnica cordifolia, but we also have a little bit of arnica montana that's kind of mixed in, and it blooms a little bit later than the cordifolia, and it's a, the cordifolia is a larger flower than the arnica montana. They both have the same properties. They're both beautiful flowers. So if you go to the bottom of this page, you can actually um, click on our blog and you can read all about Arnica Oil in an even more um, in-depth look. We've got so many pictures of the, wild, the wildfire that came through a, few, a couple years ago. And then we have pictures and again, this video you can look at of um, what the forest looks like now. All right, so we are going to continue with our presentation today by making a recipe with you. And if you're on our Arnica page, you can, um, you can find these recipes, this recipe that we're going to make. We're making a recipe called Bruising and Healing Relief with Arnica Oil. And all you need to do is click Make Recipe and it'll take you right to the page. So with this recipe, we are using Arnica infused oil. It's infused in a beautiful, organic, cold-pressed, olive oil from Tunisia. Yeah. And the flowers will sit in there for anywhere from four to eight weeks. It just depends. It changes as it infuses. <clears throat> it changes the aroma of the, of the um, olive oil. Yes. It starts to smell a little bit, almost sourish, and that's what we use in our Arnica infused. So what I've done for this recipe... I'm going to grab this is I've selected four different oils that go together so beautifully with Arnica to help with inflammation, which 
automatically helps with the painful situations. So it smells, what Karen means, it smells sour in, in the same way that like a fresh pine needle smells sour. It's a pleasant right. sour. It's a changed yes. aroma that has yes. a more of a intense aroma than, what, yeah. than when it started. Yeah. So, Jenny, you just told me that you were using Arnica a lot lately. I've been using Arnica a lot lately. I've been um, doing all kinds of awesome projects on my computer, spending a lot of hours, and I just get tight shoulders and um, neck, and I've got um, a blend at home that I just use all the time, and I just absolutely love it. So we were bantering back and forth before our live event just about different uh, ways we personally use Arnica oil. So there are a lot of uses for these oils and for the carrier. Arnica on itself is fantastic and wonderful and you can use that on a bruised or a sore area. We've selected oils that go really well with this blend so that it will help with bruising, it helps with inflammation and pain and just makes you feel better and it's nice to have a blend all made up sitting on your shelf so you can easily grab it and use it when you've got that tight muscle going on or when a yep. friend comes over and says, oh, it hurts so much here, you can actually grab that and do a little massage. Yeah, absolutely. And it's, um, it's just a really personal way to um, help relieve someone else in your life and his or her symptoms. So I've already put in some Arnica oil into this. I've labeled it so that I have the name of this blend, the Bruising and Healing Relief with Arnica. I've put the date on here so I know when I've made this batch, and all of these oils that we're using actually have quite long shelf life, so yeah. this blend will, will last as long as the Arnica does, which is a couple of years. Yeah, so. and chances are you'll use up your blend before that. So let's start using our, making our blend. Let's do it, and if you have any questions as we go, feel free to pop that into the chat box on our website, or if you're watching on Facebook, pop it into the comment section and we will get to your questions at the end of our blending activity that we're about to start. And uh, we are, again, going to be giving away a one ounce bottle of our Arnica oil on both Facebook and our website. So our first oil that we're gonna, going to put in is Helichrysum Italicum. There's a lot of Helichrysums, but this one is the Italicum. And this one happens to be from Croatia. We have one from Corsica as well. They both are gorgeous oils and work well with skin and relaxing those inflamed areas, relaxing our tight minds as well. I actually don't love the smell of helichrysum, but I love what it does. <laughs> so in a blend like this, I love tucking it in because it's so powerful, but it's not an oil I reach for on its own. Some people love it. Some people love the aroma. I do. <laughs> Karen I loves love the aroma. The aroma. <laughs> and I love what the oil can do. So this is a blend where um, I love to tuck it in and it just makes every, it makes it so I use the blend more often because I like the smell of the overall blend. It actually smells very much like the, the blossom when you would go like this with your fingers. So how many drops are we putting in of our helichrysum? All right, so for helichrysum, we are putting in six drops. And again, this is a really heavy hitter for pain and inflammation management. It's definitely one you wanna have in your collection. I got one extra drop and don't worry about that. It's just fine. All right, our next oil, which is another one that's a heavy hitter, and I love the resinous aroma of this oil. It's called balsam poplar. Oh, it's just just gorgeous. Mm. It's an investment in, an, in terms of an essential oil. It is one of our more expensive essential oils, um, and that is because it's such a time-intensive process. So um, the, what the, the folks who make this oil go and take the buds off of the balsam poplar tree, and that is what is used to make this oil. They also infuse it into olive oil as well, the buds itself. Mm -hmm. um, it's, all, it's called balm of Gilead, but the essential oil is made from the same buds. Mm -hmm. So this one we're going to add five drops. And I love the aroma of this particular oil. It's really sweet and resinous, and it's one that I love putting into blends because again, if you love the aroma of the oils you're working with, you're going to use that blend more and more frequently. And if you want to know more about these oils in depth and look at their GCMS reports, they're all available on the website at www.aromatics.com. You can click on each oil and get in-depth information on each one. So our next one is lavender. Oh, and who doesn't love, I mean, lavender is just beautiful. So we're going to put in four drops of lavender oil. And again, on our harvest season page, 
we will be unlocking the box of lavender where you can look at how we grow lavender here in Montana. Right now we're working with a lavender from Bulgaria, but we do have some Montana lavender from last season, just a limited amount still available on our website and it smells so incredible, like honey and caramel. We have a few available. If it's on like, sale. It's on sale. Five mil bottles um, and it lasts for several years. So now's yeah. the time to grab that. Yeah. Our last oil that we're putting in is German chamomile. It has a um, unique ingredient called chamazoline that really helps with the inflammation in this blend. Mm -hmm. So it's a dark, deep blue. We also have one from Nepal that's more of a greenish color, but they both have much of the same properties. A lot of times, and we're putting in two drops of this two one. Drops. A lot of times, oils that are deep blue, it's just a sign that they're so good for pain and inflammation management, like yarrow, for example. We'll be dealing and talking with yarrow a little bit later on in our harvest season um, this summer because that's another thing that we wildcraft and we're excited to tell you all about it. So when I put all the oils in here, I of course put them directly into the arnica. It does not need a soluble because they're all um, lipid soluble. They all mix together really, really well, but you need to make sure that you mix it really well to get all the oils blended into the olive oil. Mm -hmm. If you do this in a clear jar, which, which I maybe should have done, you'll see the blue coming through, yeah. kind of winding its way through, and how much it takes to actually blend it all together. Yeah, kind of want to do that for about a minute, right? Yeah. You can even get a little bit more. A little more aggressive. Aggressive than I am. But, oh my word. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous blend. It's so good. I love the aroma of this blend, which means, again, I'm going to use it when I have pain and inflammation management. We've all had those blends where we make, and they're so wonderful therapeutically, but if you don't love the aroma, chances are you're not going to use it. So Arnica on its own is a great uh, carrier oil to use for any kind of pain, inflammation, any kind of bruising, any kind of sore muscles, mm -hmm. and then to add a few oils in that will help Boost up that blend. Yeah. When you first put a bruise blend on, like if you have a bruise on your arm and you put that on, you will see that it actually gets more purple looking and you think, oh my word, what has happened? But what it's doing is it's bringing the bruising up to the surface so that it can dissipate more quickly. Yes. All right, so let's check in with our live viewers. Um, we have Siv, um, Monica, who's saying, I love the aroma of helichrysum. I, I love that you yes. love it. Karen loves it too. <laughs> And it grows on you. Yes, it, it's, a, it's a beautiful oil. It's a beautiful oil. <laughs> We've got Kate who's saying, hi y'all, your lavender oil is yummy. And we have, um, we've got someone here, Gracie, who is saying it'd be so good to have at the start of the school year. Absolutely. Absolutely. Just to have right on hand. Typically oils that are really good with untangling and soothing sore muscles and tight spasmodic muscles also help with our energetic fields in helping to relax and calm. Yes. All right, so um, Anna O oh is saying, uh, this combination smells so lovely. And then um, Mrs. DMC is asking if this is a 2% dilution. This is where maths come in. How many drops do we have total? Let's look at how many drops we have total to help us figure it out. So we've got six, five, so 11, plus four, 15, 16, 17, and one ounce. So on our website, under Learn, you can actually go into dilution guidelines. And 15 to 18 drops in one ounce of carrier oil is a 3% dilution. Five to six is a 1%, so I usually go by five to six. And we have, how many did you say? Uh, 16. 16, so we are between that 15 and 18, mm -hmm. which is a 3%. Yeah. I think the link was under Learn Blending. Learn, under, the blending. link is under Learn and go down to blending, and there's a ton of information there for those of you who are new to blending. Yes, and if you're new to blending and you want to check out a really incredibly free resource, um, that's wonderful, you can go to the AromaHead website and there's a free intro course that just really sets up a good base foundation for Essential Oil 101. Right, so you can find more Arnica recipes right on this website that we were just showing you, the landing page of Arnica. It's unlocked. You can go in there and see more recipes. You can also go to the search box on the main page of the website. 
It's actually on every page. Mm -hmm. And type in Arnica. Yes. Or bruising, and you will come up with a lot of recipes. So um, we are about to go into our giveaway, but just, uh, just to recap, if you joined halfway through, you can actually look and watch um, our live events on our Aromatics page, aromatics.com slash live. And you can also sign up for our newsletter and never miss a live event. We'll send you reminders of when they're coming up. So that way you can just stay engaged with our online community of folks who are excited about essential oils just like you. And we are here and so excited to talk about harvest season. We are unlocking lavender later on today, so stay tuned for that. And we have more events coming up this summer where we're going to talk about yarrow. We're going to talk about a lemongrass from India, which we love. And we'll let you know as these things unfold. So after Labor Day weekend, we're actually going to be live again showing you another harvest going yes. on. So if you want to be involved in that and you want an email, be sure that you have signed up on our email. We're going to go over to our website. Okay. So you can go down, learn more. There's all different ways to sign up for the newsletter. The easiest way is aromatics.com slash live. Right below the video you guys are on, there's a box that you just put the information right there. That is the best way. So if you go to aromatics.com slash live, it will take you to this page. I'm taking you the roundabout way. You can go to watch our harvest season videos. And then right under, we should be live right here, right under, you can sign up, put in your name, put in your email, and that is how you'll know when different events are coming up. All right, so now we're ready for our giveaway. Yes. So our question is, as we make our Arnica infused oil, there's a typical carrier oil that we use as it is so good at drawing out the medicinal components in the Arnica. Yes. So Do you what is, know what that is? So what is the oil that we fill the container with our Arnica blossoms? What is that oil that we use to fill up and infuse? So if you know the answer or you want to take a guess, put it into the comment box either on Facebook on under the live video or on our website aromatics.com slash live and we will give you about 30 seconds to put in your answer and then we have an incredible team of folks right here about to give us the winners. So as you're doing that, just a little information, we have the amazing opportunity to have all of our forested areas certified organic. We like to support distillers and folks who grow organically, so we really discourage the use of, of working with um, distillers or makers of products that don't use organic growing practices. So it's very, very important to us and we're so excited that our olive oil is organically grown, our arnica is certified organic, um, and I think that the olive oil is as well. Yeah, it definitely it is. It's beautiful. It's gorgeous. All right, so do we have our winners? Answers are flying in. in. Just, just a couple seconds here, and then we'll, then we'll pick two winners. Yep, one winner from Facebook, one winner from our um, aromatics.com slash live page. And um, it's, it's so fun to have a, a page on our website where we can go live with you right now. Our Arnica is finished with its infusion and it's now been bottled, and we are about ready to release it. But you will be getting a fresh bottle of our Arnica infused yes. oil. Yes. All right, do we have our winners? Drum roll. All right. All right. For, we do. For people watching on aromatics.com slash live, it's Anna O. Anna O, congratulations. You are a winner <laughs> on our aromatics.com slash live page. We will be sending you a bottle of our Arnica infused olive oil. You're going to love it so much. If you can send us an email, team at aromatics.com with your name and address, we can get in contact with you and get this shipped off. Okay, on Facebook it is Debbie Yingling. Congratulations! Yay! So, Debbie, if you could send us either a private message on Facebook or email team at aromatics.com with your name and address, our incredible customer service team will get this in the mail to you. The correct answer <laughs> is olive oil. Organic olive oil. Organic olive oil. Um, on our event last week, we forgot to give the answer, which was lavendula and gustifolia, but 
so many folks got it right. We just forgot to give the answer. So the answer today was olive oil. So check back later today on the website and the lavender harvest will be unlocked. It's some beautiful, beautiful footage that Devin has put together for us. And if you want to see recordings of our live events, you can go to aromatics.com slash live and you can see our uh, events that we've done for this particular campaign or harvest season right there. We feel so honored that you joined us today for our Arnica presentation and I hope that you will try out some different recipes with the Arnica and really experience the healing benefits. Of yeah, just go to our website, aromatics.com and explore around that Arnica page and just, just, just discover what Arnica can bring and do for you. Keep in touch via email when our next live presentation will be after Labor Day weekend. Have a wonderful rest of your day and we will see you sometime soon.